the trees, probably out of an eighth of an acre spot. I cleared quite a few trees uh, in the course of three months. By the time it came February 2021, I had cleared all the trees and burnt the pile as well. It's been an ordeal. Uh, as you can see, I got quite a bit of clay down there, which is a good thing. Clay, that will pipe very well so I can get this thing to seal up. Uh, I have quite a bit of uh, watershed, uh, my yard, the neighbor's property, uh, my driveway. And I think that uh, if I get it deep enough and pack it well enough, I believe that uh, it may hold some water. It may become a catfish pond or just a pond someday. Hoping to be done with this thing, oh, maybe by somewhere in 2022, January, hopefully. Basically, I'm going to take all this topsoil off right here, move it into another location, get down to the clay, probably go down about four foot and take some of that clay over there and over there and bring back and start packing it in so I can build a wall so to help retain that water in. So that's what you call coring the dam. Uh, it's going to be a lot of dirt move, but also it's going to clear a lot of dirt too. Cause I'm gonna dig this thing out about four foot, like I said, all the way back over there to that tractor. And uh, I'm gonna fill it all up with clay and steady pack it as I go. Um, this is some work. Uh, I'm getting on down into it. Pretty soon I'm gonna start taking out some of that old sandy clay right there. And I'm gonna start uh, putting more clay down in there to pack it down so I can seal this thing up. So hopefully it can hold some water. But, um, I still got a ways to go, but I'm, I'm in it now, so there's no turning back. 